plays the game to such a very finite level. Right. Like you can't. You, you have to be almost. You almost have to play stupid yeah. to make him get hit. Like yeah. it's like, wait, why would you do that? Right. Like yeah. that's you, what you have to do sometimes to make up, it work. Yeah. The mix up to him. If you want to mix up the buzz, do something that's so beyond dumb mm -hmm. that he is just like, I was not covering. I was covering seven options and that wasn't one of them. I mean, we were just talking about Kool Aid options. So some, oh uh, some beyond yeah, dumb stuff true. does work sometimes. That's true. But, Laid, um, if, if anyone could do that, it's gonna be late. Yeah. Now oh, Kool Aid, uh, he's you know always been around for a long time. A brawl vet, uh, very uh, prominent in Smash Four as well. Yeah. But he never beat the buzz. He's yeah. beating people like Salem and company, but he's never beaten the bus. It was hard to be a Sheik main and beat the bus. Yeah. It was hard. It was hard, man. Oh, Void, Void no, I think, beat Void, the bus oh, like no. one time. Void man. has he had, had like a negative, negative, negative record against the bus. It was Void, like insane. Void ha has lost. Actually, him and Mr. R both lost so many early stocks to kills off the top. Yikes. Particularly Mr. R, unfortunately, right. like for his lifespan, had to deal with those up, beat, uh, up airs. Well, actually, apparently we're in top eight right now. Yeah. Uh, this is probably. Uh, or at least one side. Of top eight. Yeah. Oh, this I is the. Oh, okay. So this is the last match to this call my fourth top eight right now. Right. And we're seeing a Kalos uh, stage pick. I. This is a very interesting choice. I'm surprised that Lade didn't ban this stage because Alomar is going to have an easier time getting off the ledge with the platforms being there. And ideally, he wants FD. He wants something like that. But you know. Lade is a, a world-class player, so I think he's, he, has some, he has some logic to this. It's just I want to see how this plays out. Because I think it might partially have to do with the way that he decided to play the game plan against Jewel. It's like, you know what? Let me go for single hits. Let me right. remove getting caught on uh, platforms. Because as, if, as good as I am with catching up airs and extending uh, platforms, uh, combos, the buzz. Once he hits you with one up smash or one up air, you take a big damage, but oh, you don't man. need anything beyond that up smash to go down. The buzz, I, I like, wow, that was beautiful because Lade was out of options there. I think the only thing he could have done there was uh, just up B maybe, but that, that was scary because that's going to be a committal move. That up smash covered like three different things there. Exactly. And you see, they're right there, going to go into the 48%, up smash. 48%, guys. Oh, my God. Alomar puts up numbers, bro. Yeah. Alomar puts up freaking numbers. Yeah, Alomar right. is uh, definitely <laughs> definitely the accountant of the Smash community. Dude, because, this like, guy. Every time you think that you were, you're were okay, every yeah. time you thought you got away with something all right, you realize that you went 0 to 78. Yeah. And you honestly don't even know how you got there. 0 to 100 real quick. Kool-Aid option. Uh, actually, he didn't pull that out at all against Jewel because Jewel's on the move. But he's gonna. We're gonna be seeing Kool-Aid trying to reserve that shield breaker yeah. for when he does short hop fares. Oh, catching oh the two frame God. with the dolphin flash. Excuse and see, that, me. That's another thing that that was easier to do because of Kalos. So it, it, this is an interesting choice. I don't know that this was the best stage for them to go to for, for Kool-Aid. But, you know, the buzz doing a great job here. I mean, he's not letting Kool-Aid open him up. He's not, it doesn't look like he's getting juggled much. Like, it, it looks like he's not losing neutral, yeah. honestly. Lade looks a little out of his element in this game one, so. Yeah, this is oh, definitely a back like, air. This is a, a, an absolute tear apart, and Yikes. that's going to be a three stock coming and, from and, the buzz. And talk about, you know, we were just talking about how the buzz is a more passive player. That was a minute and a half. That was two minutes, like. To be completely that honest, fast, he looks like he's passive because of the character, but right. the bus is actually pretty aggressive. When he gets right. his opportunity to stunt you down, and you don't let, you don't prove to him your defense is good, he is he stays on you. Yeah. But if your defense is very strong, then we see yeah. the buzz that we're normally used to seeing. That yeah. wall that's so hard to uh, like right. get him to slow down. Yeah, I think I think uh, the stage had a lot to do with that. So I, I actually think that. We see Laid thinking here. I think that the stage will change this a lot. And, and now that we're on Battlefield, smaller stage, there's a little bit more maneuverability to get around the Pikmin. Uh, disadvantage today is going to be a nightmare for Alomar if Laid can win the neutral. But getting to win the neutral is hard. I mean, he just took 40, 50 percent. That's the big thing right there. 10 just, seconds. Just even Yikes. winning an interaction against the Buzz right now just seems like a, a far cry. But you know, he's he's trying so hard to find his way in. But we were talking about it before. Something that Lucina. Uh, struggles with is if somebody can avoid her approaching options. Yeah. Like, still an excellent character in every regard, but if the Buzz just plays just out of boxing range, throws some projectiles in these uh, in these Pikmin at him, he's going to take so much more damage for his work that he's trying to open them up. Yeah, and, and you know what? The thing is that Lucina being a fast fall, not being a fast faller, is one of her biggest... Wow. Late almost taking that stock hella early there, I missing know. that down air and getting up smash. But, you know, him, he's having a hard time because, uh, like what we saw a lot with James... <gasps> 
Wow. That's that. Speaking of James, in the way that that, that, that character smash, played, bro. We that talked Pikmin about that Del tilt before. Yeah. yeah. And, and, um, and that Pikmin helped him F smash Alamar because it just yep. extended that move a bit. Top 10 anime betrayals. Just yeah, like the way exactly. that he extended <laughs> that hitbox, catching him after the spot dodge. Yo. But that up throw is going to take it. Okay, and immediately so. tossing the blue Pikmin to the side. Like, all right, I'm done with you. Yeah, and see, that, that's also a textbook thing of how this matchup can play out. Is like, you don't want to assume that Alamar is just going to win just because he does a lot of damage. It's like, his disadvantage state is really, really bad against swords. So we just saw that Laid to press advantage that one time that it mattered and he was able to take the stock first even though he had a huge deficit in terms of percent and you see it seems like kool-aid has kind of gotten into his mindset like you know what i can't keep committing the way i have been he caught him on that bat on that wow, paper grab that, in a very good position that, actually that was beautiful he detailed and i had enough time to to whiff a detail and fade back pivot grab that tech roll in and there you go that back air not he has killed to, just yet but he's uh, trying to catch him, but he forces him on the ledge. I like the fact that he just let him go on the grab. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, he actually was, was able to go all the way to the other side. Right. With no Pikmin there, he has enough. Uh, he, he's fast enough with his upbeat to do things like that. Um, but yeah, Laid doing a great job of just keeping him at the ledge and keeping him recovering. That's how you beat this character. Yeah. Neutral is a nightmare, but once you get in, you have to keep it. You as have simple to as it may it. sounds, you can't let the buzz play. And he's going to catch him with that option. dash attack. That dash attack was insane. Like, being full, near full, like, a full couple character distance away, yeah, from you assume the buzz is going to wait for that, and he just ran up and did it. And that's the type of thing that throws off right. like, the buzz. Like, you have to make him feel uncomfortable. That's but the first dash attack I've seen the last two sets combined. Like, I, I think that was the first one. Oh, just barely almost killing with that purple Pikmin and the buzz. Now, got it. To, uh, Kool Aid on the ropes. He's forcing Kool Aid to approach him a bunch, and you saw Kool Aid is like reaching for like, all right, come on now, come on, just calm down. Uh, There's that good out of the shield option we talked about before. There. Great awareness too, because sometimes it's gonna be when, especially when both characters hitting their shield, all the Mars options are really hard to see, and he saw that whiffed up smash, even though it was in his shield, turn around up B. And I actually realized, uh, like I stopped and realized it for a second. That was the buffered spot dodge into into Dolphin Slash. Like ah. being able to buffer. Out of uh, right. spot dodge with right. the hitbox and it, might be one of the most controversial things that they right. decided to add into this yeah. game. It, but it you gotta use it. Yeah, and it basically stops the spot dodge earlier than it normally would, so you can actually spot dodge a move and punish moves that you normally can't punish. Mm -hmm. You see, even with Kool Aid with very, being very behind. Good. Yeah, trying to catch a potential two frame with that down uh, that down air. If you can take the stock out now, there it is. He's trying to hold on to that shield breaker for late, but the buzz he didn't bite. He wasn't trying to approach with shield. Yeah, and, and that that uh, cr that cross slash, even though it feels like a cross slash, yeah, that dancing, dancing blade, blade uh, very good when people are at the ledge like that. You know, it's, it's able you're able to approach them while throwing out massive hitboxes. Oh wow, the name I think he actually right. got a hitbox extension through the Pikmin there with that no should be too. Good tech from the buzz, but now he's gonna be forced to regrab. What's happening? Oh, he tried to read the roll! Blade did just did a bad job there of, of, of punishing the regrab, but tried to cover the next option that he thought was coming out, which was, was the roll. most common option was it, that most people would right. do after re grabbing. Is panicking is into roll. a ledge roll, yeah. And the buzz so, saw through that. The buzz is uh, too steady of a player for that. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna pick panicky options like that. He's playing Alamar already, and Rosa. I mean, characters that notoriously have really bad disadvantage state, and you die for picking panicky options. So. Yeah, great job, you know, holding your ground, yeah, holding your ground and your composure when your back is against the wall is a huge difference is what to makes people consistent and what makes them okay. Right. And that's why the bus does so well. He realizes where a situation might be all right for him to be pressing the option, but almost dying to that forward smash because he's yeah. deciding to float directly above Kool-Aid right now. Wow, man, and, and just to think that the winner of this, the loser of this is getting ninth place at this tournament. It's wild. I mean, it's wild. I mean, Kool-Aid's a world-class player. DeBuzz, obviously, uh, among the greatest of all time. So this is this is the kind of matchups you see when people get upset. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's just letting it. I think he's purposely letting these shield breaks rip more often now. Not necessarily, like, just, I mean, if he gets one, that's a stock. Right. But, now he's going to force the buzz to be on the move. Like, well, right. I can't shield as much. Right. So now I'm going to be careful, and he's going to seek out a potential jump away with one of these forward smashes right. on that uh, forward air. Oh, wow, and DeBuzz getting that down air, but not getting the spike because of the, the uh, yellow Pikmin with electro, electric properties. Mm -hmm. Kind of just sent them to the side. Wow, just... 
punishing that neutral gap with an up smash. Looking electric right there, going right up again, yeah. catching him with that up smash. We don't normally see the yellow one utilized a lot, but apparently it is the best friend of the buzz Yikes. right now. Holy it's zero crap. to 100. It's an 89 oh completely God. unanswered. The Big hits. yikes, my guy. That yes. is OD. Yellow is the new best friend of the buzz. Easy. Wow, that was insane. Oh, my God. I mean, just the sound effects from that yellow Pikmin electrocuting that character is insane. And, and you know, the thing about that up smash, we're seeing it again there at the neutral getup, is that, oh, my God. And, and Laid having a really hard time landing here. This yeah. is possibly his tournament stock, so... I don't oh, know. It's you know, looking I actually, very grim for I, our, our boy Laid. I know that the Buzz decided to recover all the way up to the other side, but you saw that Kool Aid was looking for that dare. If the Buzz hanged low enough and the Kool Aid decided to pull the trigger too early, he would have right. just asked to eat. Right. Actually, that's that's right. Like, all right, give them a fake opening. Right. Let them overcommit and let them kill himself. Man, we're seeing a lot of these up smashes, but they're safe on block in this game. I mean, this is it's it's a move where even if he would have whiffed that, he ha he can just do something else right after. Um, not an easy move to punish, man. No, and now with a, still a whole nother fresh stock above. Like, Kool-Aid has to play on point. Like, he's taking so much damage from these Pikmin, almost catching him with the whistle into F-Smash on uh, his anti-air approach. Man, and I want to see Kool-Aid just... Uh, it's, it looks like he's just, like, falling into these hitboxes and disadvantage. I mean, I kind of want to see him pick better options when he's getting juggled like that. It, it feels like he's just taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Yeah, against Olimar, like, he's doing a good job of option coveraging him right now. But again, he's so far behind. He has to be careful. You can't overextend too much at the ledge because the bus is going to make you punished. And that, that's no. not going to be Oh, now it's the purple we, one. He does have there a is an up smash coming. I feel it. Oh, yeah, there's a back air read potentially coming as well. Man, I mean, oh, wow. Out of position, not able to punish that counter. If, if Lade can take this stock, he can. he's still in the game on choosing not to punish Air Dodge, but that's one of those situations yeah. where it's like, all right, are they feeling the he's pressure right now? Still got the stock, though, so that's good. He can do this as long as he doesn't get F smashed, F -smashed right now. The Buzz went for the F smash. The Pikmin was dead. So Lade got lucky there. Yep, and on he that landed. Take, the blue Pikmin, the throw, going to take the stock. Yeah, and right into the love and embraces of the blue Pikmin there. Three, like, oh. You saw the moment that uh, the Buzz picked the blue, he stayed grounded. Right. He's like, all right, at some point you're going to be coming at me. Like, right. no matter what, you have to land in front of me because I know yeah. you're going to try and stop this. Right. It didn't even matter. You got him on a second time. And uh, laid, uh, you know, bowing out of the Suplex City at ninth place. A very a respectable, well fought, respectable hey, man, ninth. He lost to, if you get ninth losing to the Buzz, that's... Totally fine, man, man. If you get ninth in this bracket, yeah, in this bracket general, is hell bracket. My holy guy. hell! Like, yeah. I mean, on the like, just you have to respect every W that's gone through this day today. Right. But uh, I believe, I believe that might potentially that might be, be all of it for us. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, top eight is coming up. Stay tuned yeah, for top, top eight. eight. Is actually currently yeah, going we'll, on right now. That was the last call. Well, top eight's right now. Top eight's um, right now. We're gonna be doing Royal Rumble or something like that. Yeah. Oh, we're doing the Royal are, Rumble. I think so. I don't know if you guys are casting it. Possibly. Uh, I don't think I am. Um, I should double check that. Um, but uh, I we'll, mean, I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't even casting top thirty-two originally. Oh wow. But, you know. Well, I don't know. We'll I figure that stick out. Stick around for. Yeah, we are gonna go on a quick break though.